Hey guys, welcome back. There's a show that we looked at that we don't talk about because talking about shows is what we do. We're talking about food wars. And in honor of that, I'm eating right now. I don't think that was an in honor, but uh, you know what? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Fair enough. <laughs> so, uh, Andy, your opinions. Oh. Are, what did you think of it? I think... I think it started off really strong, and then, like, the ridiculousness just kind of, like, tapered off, and it wasn't as, like, interesting. Does that make I sense? Can... No, I completely understand. Like, I think the sh I think it's really good. Like, I love the idea of just, like, watching... Like cooking and stuff like that, I've always been kind of fascinated and that kind of thing. And um, like, it it did start off pretty ridiculous, but then it like then it started becoming more like more of it was more like explanations and like ha like always giving like a backstory and stuff behind every ingredient that they use. Yeah, I wasn't too into that. And, like, it, that's what it boils down to, is, like, the majority of everything was, like, always explaining every single ingredient used and, like, for what purpose. Like, and it all pretty much boils down to, like, oh, well, I used this instead of this because it just has a different flavor. Yeah. Or, like, what was it, adding vinegar to... What was, what, wasn't it add vinegar to cauliflower to make it white and taste better? And yeah, because like, like it, because it bleach it like bleached it, yeah. and like rekindled like the flavoring of it. But then the dick the dickhead chef was just like, no, fuck you. <laughs> I didn't I didn't actually buy enough good stuff. Cause I'm an asshole. And you changed the recipe. The recipe didn't call for the vinegar. Uh, dickhead. He was a gigantic dickhead. There was a lot of dickhead going on. So, was there anything in particular about this series that you actually really liked? I like how it, I liked how it started. Like, it was, it was very much like, this is the direction we're going in. Like, we're going over the top reactions, like, um visual representations of what's going on and i was kind of you know i was kind of getting my feel for it and then it like tapered off for a while and then it became about relationships and stuff and then and then they come back to these over-the-top dramatizations of what's going on at the end of the second season oh speaking of which i only made it through two seasons yeah, there's like four seasons or something to this right now, and it's like the manga is still going for it. I'm just gonna say, after two seasons, I'm done. Like, I don't blame you. Like, that's that's a huge thing about watching these shows is like, how long does it last before you just lose interest? Like, like you could have a show that's lasted six seasons, but if you're only interested in the first season, then. This show reminds me of another kind of like popular series. Um, I think I think it's done. I don't. I'm not entirely sure. It's a ser. It's like a. It was a pretty popular series called uh, Toriko. Okay, I don't know what that. Yeah. Okay. It, it's another shonen one. It's all about like food and all the, and like finding it and hunting down ingredients and everything like that. But the only di the difference between that it's more about like hunting down and finding the ingredients and actually like killing like the big badass monsters and stuff. And while this is more about actually cooking. Yeah, I don't know. I think it could have done with like, well, that's just the thing. Like they 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 set it up as <laughs> as this world, like something that happened on Earth, like maybe alternate timeline, but like. 
definitely on Earth. Where oh yeah, I think like I, I don't know. I I'd, I'd probably be more interested in the other one that you were talking about, just because there'd be world building and like an action. Yeah. But I don't know. So um, did you have a favorite character? Because there was a plethora of characters in the series. Oh, yeah, there were a plethora of them. Holy crap. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, some of the... Some of the more interesting characters. Um, oh, crap. I can't remember what most of their names are, in all honesty. Who is the American? Oh, uh... Mito? Oh, Akumi? the, um, yeah, like the dark skinned girl. God, she was hilarious. <laughs> Fear my meat. She was the meat master. That sounds dirty. <laughs> it does, and that's why I kind of laughed at it. My, uh, my favorite, like, I have a tie for my favorite character. Okay. I, I, I can guarantee you can probably bet what one of them is. Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> what What's your guess? Uh, Megumi? <laughs> Nailed it. Yep. Can I'm... you guess who the tie is, though? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know. It's not that... <laughs> Uh, um, Alice. Really? I really liked Alice's character. Just how she was, like, she she's as competitive and everything else, but she's so, like, lighthearted about it. She's a bitch! Not as, not really. Well, no, but, like... Not as, okay, nowhere near what, uh, Arena... Oh, yeah. Not as much as her cousin. She, Her cousin's a, gig, a gigantic bitch. No, Alice is just... I, like, Alice is just... She has so much... I, I don't know. She's just... Oh, hold on. It's hard to explain. <laughs> I'm all, like, processing. Actually, I like... Uh... Uh, now. Now. The one who came with, like, the cursed... <laughs> I, I, I looked at that, I'm like, oh, like, when I got to that the first time, I'm just like, oh my god, Andy's gonna love her, because she reminds me of Watamode. She is fucking hilarious. Like, everything, like, just, I, I saw that, I'm like, oh dear god. <laughs> you in that freaking show... I like how that show is still being referenced, and we have yet to talk about it on this channel. I'm scared to finish it. <laughs> it's so good, though! I made the mistake of binge-watching, like, six episodes of it. <laughs> you never do that! Don't do that! <laughs> you can only watch, like, two before you're like, I'm done for a little bit. I'm done. Before you need cringe rehab. It's so bad. It's so good. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, goodness. But yeah, I like... I liked a lot of the characters in this series. Like, Soma as a main character, I liked him. I think... I think there's a thing to that. Like, none of the characters feel like they bleed over each other. Like, right? one's higher than the other's? Well, no, I'm saying, like, there's there's some relationships and stuff, but, like, the relationships are solid enough where it's not, like, like, their quirks stay their own quirks. Like, they're, they're very individualistic. They don't, like, tread on other people's territory. Does that make sense? None of them are really similar. Yeah. Which I completely agree. Like, there was... There's a lot of, like, 
there's all like even just like kind of like the quote unquote side characters were important. I like made their like made their statements. Yeah. Can we just say that Soma's father is awesome? Soma's father's a douche. <laughs> He's funny though. He's such a dick. I know, which is fantastic. It's <laughs> like, like, go to this school. It's just like, why the fuck would I go to this school? You're like, I'm going to be working at this restaurant forever because this fucking restaurant's my life. And he's all like, no, no, no. I'm just closing go it there. down for a few years. Yeah, it's just going to die for a minute. Like, just don't worry about it. <laughs> Not I telling watched... him at all that he used to go to that school. Not telling him, like, fucking jack shit. Like, <laughs> fuck it. I know, it's fantastic. Fuck and then it. he, shows, he shows up. He shows up to challenge Soma to, like, another contest out of the blue. Yeah, and I just... just... I, lo I love the reaction to it. Like, his father's in the kitchen of his dorm just cooking stuff. Like, hey, Soma, can you help me, like, prepare this? Yeah, sure. Uh, just goes, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just started doing it without even thinking, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> oh, goodness. See, the, the problem I have with it is that, <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's, like, a lot of content there, but, like, there really isn't that much to talk about because it is all about the food. Like... It is. It's kind of like how Yuri on Ice was about the f skating. I don't know, there's some that's a squid Was that English? I think it just devolved. I think that was Grumblees. Yeah. But like Grumblees. But like at least there was something going on in the background between characters. Like this one there really isn't that much going on between the characters in the background what's really funny is they try and set things up without having these characters established i've noticed that throughout some of it because they're like oh he's the guy who said the bullshit at the fucking opening cer ceremony and that's like the most people know and like it always comes back to the opening ceremony like him being a douche to like actually spur people to try and fight him like that's how it was the entire show <laughs> at least so far you know what i mean yeah like it's it, it had a lot of flaws to it i'm not gonna deny that but it all in all it was it's not the it's worth giving it a watch at least the first season is worth watching and yeah. giving it a shot. If you like, if you like it, obviously watch more of it, or read it if that's your if that's your preferredness. See, I'd say I'd say it's a dosage anime. Like, like you get your dose, like whatever that dose is, like one season, two seasons, like, and then you're just done. Like, you know when you're done with the show because you hit that point and you're just like really what other crazy bullshit can actually happen like how are the stakes raised like it just kind of loses its luster but that happens all on its own like you don't need people to tell you oh like there are some shows that get really bad on the second season like death note death note first season first season amazing second season absolute crap like yeah, it, it, like, I completely agree. Death Note fell off so hard when, spoiler alert, L dies. Like, it's, like, that sucked. See, so that's the thing, though, is that there's a definite point where shit takes a turn south, right? With this show, there's not a definite point that the whole show turns south. It does turn south, but it'll be different for each person. Yeah, like it'll it'll lose its luster for everybody. Yeah, depending on how far you go, but that how far you go isn't dependent on like oh this character's cut or like oh this new storyline's taking over. Like there's just a point where you're like I don't feel like watching this anymore. Yeah, which I mean that's not bad, but 
I don't know. Like, it's it's not... It, you're just... You just lose interest in it. It's not because it's like it's bad. Like, oh my god, I don't want like this. This show sucks. I don't want to watch it anymore. It's more like, eh. It's like I've I've kind of get the joke. I already get the anime. But there's nothing that keeps you. There's nothing that sucks you into like the third or the fourth season. For at least for me. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm still gonna like. Re, like read some more of it and stuff and because i i prefer like if you've seen some of our other episodes i'm pretty sure i've mentioned this before like i prefer to read over uh watching like i prefer to read manga over watching anime just because i can go at my own pace and uh like it's I, i'm i'll probably read some more of this like i'm um, like when i got some free time but it's not something that, like, I will, like, binge read. I, I think if there weren't so many good shows coming out, like, if there's, like, a huge, like, lull or something, like, maybe, maybe, like, show back up to it and maybe it'll be entertaining again, but... Yeah, probably once you put it down and pick it back up, it, it might be more interesting because you'll kind of forget I some think, of the reasons. I think a lot of it's just because, like, if you sit there and watch it, like... You just like okay, how literally how much food making can I watch? Like, <laughs> yeah, just saying. <clears throat> no, I, I I completely I completely understand. So, but I think we've pretty much set our piece. Yeah, I think so. So. The show, so so. Yeah, I give it a meh. I <laughs> give it probably. I give it a meh. <laughs> I yeah, I'd give it probably about a six or a seven out of ten. Yeah, it's not a bad show by any means. It's just very oh one note. Correction: There's something I wanted to address about this. I almost forgot about it. Oh god! What? <clears throat> so when I was first told about this series. I was talking uh I was talking with uh some people and stuff uh at at uh like a card shop that I go to. And um like I we were, we just got into topic like they sell like some random volumes of manga and everything and like I was just looking at the titles and stuff and uh I got to chit-chatting with them and I mentioned uh I had a volume of uh Monster Masume with me. Um and like, I was just like, this series is unbelievably etchy. And, uh, somebody mentioned to me, they're like, oh, like, the, if you, if you want to see etchy, like, Food Wars is terrible. I'm like, what do you mean? And, like, oh, the way yeah. they described it, like, I, wa like, I was watching, I'm like, this is so tame. Yeah. Like, is. like, there's no, there's, I can't say there's nothing, but, like, the the like the most common ways of it being quote unquote etchy is just like when like the overreaction to them eating is always for some reason them being naked and aroused. Yeah, like it's not not that's very tame in comparison to some of the series. Like if you want to see over the top, like. <laughs> That's where that's where Ses Testament of Sister New Devil comes in. Yeah, God, that show, I loved it. <laughs> like, I was, oh like, my God. I was actually did, did... very disappointed because, like, I went into this expecting it to be like over the top etchy, and it wasn't. Like, did um, I can't? What's up? Didn't uh, Testament of a Sister New Devil get a new season? <sighs> Did it? I think it did, because I know DXD just got a new season. Or, like, it's... I thought... Uh, it, it, has it already started coming out? Yeah, it started coming out, like, last week. Ooh. I might have to pick it up and start watching it. And then... I think something else popped... I think something else came out, started coming out more. I don't remember quite what it was. I'll have to look it up, but I, I'm pretty sure DXD and Testament... Um, I know for sure D DXD did. I'm not sure yeah. the testament did. 
like a lot of people are like kind of on the up and up about DXD cuz like it's switching to that newer style of anim- of anime. Yeah. Where it looks a lot like more I guess the best way of describing it is it looks more round. Like bubbly. It, it's yeah. Yes, like it's not it's not like super sharp uh like sharp in like a bad sense where it's like super like it, it I, looks, I don't know it looks more polished yes is that the good way to put it if you a good comparison would be looking at dragon ball z and then looking at dragon ball super yeah like the jump in those style of animations is what like dxd is supposed to like have happened to it so yeah, I know DXD finally started up again. Do you know if it's supposed to take off right after season three? I'm not sure. I'd have to look into it. I but I just I'll, know it's there. Um, I'll have to take a look at it. But uh, I already told you about Darling in the Bronx. Yes. So that's something that we're gonna look at at a forward time. I'm I'm just speaking this out because like I don't know if it's gonna be an actual episode or if it's gonna be like a special or like what we're gonna do with it because it's so new. Like it's still coming out right now. Yeah, it's it's um, we're de- we're debating on if we want to do kind of like what we did with Kaijo. Yeah. But we we might probably just wait for it to fully come out. Yeah, because like I'm su- like I'll put it this way: I'm invested enough to watch the second season. Like, hmm. Like, we'll put it that way. But I have to give you a show for the challenge. Are you ready for this? I don't like the fact that you use the word challenge. Oh yeah, no, it is great. Okay, all right. Oh god, you gotta give me this. All right. No, no, no. You gotta get hype. Come on, give me, give me something to go on. Give me, give me some hype. Ooh, copyrighted music. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit Metal City. What? That sounds like a very bad like parody of RoboCop. It is amazing. Okay? Like So that is going to be the show you watch next is Detroit Metal City. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and it means nothing to you yet. And I find that hilarious. <laughs> when I think of metal, I think of, like, two different things. Yep, and I'm not telling you which one it is. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that next time. Yeah. No? Alright. Bye. Bye. <laughs>